In terms of filmmakers seeking distribution deals, what should they be aware of? Don't all of your films have distribution? Yeah, I've been fortunate enough to get all my previous films distributed uh, in some form or another. Um, and I think part of the key has been festivals, to be honest, and certain festivals. I think planning the right festival strategy is, is very key. Um, we, for my first two films, uh, I was sure to submit the film to certain like market festivals. There was, um, what's that one in, in New York called? Uh, Independent Film Week. It used to be called IFP Market. I think it's a week long, um, kind of like a festival of screenings and they have work in progress screenings as well. And it's very well attended by, by press, um, by distributors as well. And that's a great way to get face-to-face -face time with actual distributors. Like I, I met Greg Rem from HBO Documentaries there twice um, and got to know him through that process. And so that, I think those market festivals is, is very key. And when you go to festivals, you can't, um, you can't forget about the marketing aspect. Like people have to know that you're there. Um, and you have to get creative, you know, you, you do the, the common things like the postcards and the posters, but you also have to think creatively beyond that, like what kinds of publicity stunts can you pull or, you know, just what kind of unique things can you do to get the press to write about it, um, that kind of thing. I remember when we premiered at Silver Docks with one of my previous films, it didn't end up working out because of the rain and whatnot, but we wanted a, a chalk artist to do this huge, like, portrait of, of one of our characters like on the sidewalk right outside the theater and you know things like that you kind of just kind of have to think creatively um, I remember for my first film Flight from Death we, we did a little DVD uh, like premiere party and we hired an actor to dress up in a huge like Grim Reaper outfit and just kind of walk around the party and just kind of roam not talk to anybody but just stand next to people and you know so yeah try and think, think as creatively as possible um, I think the bottom line is though you just it's a ton of work um, just trying to get the word out about your film. Um, and like I said, those festivals, like credible festivals that are attended by distributors is, is pretty key. What are some red flags that someone should be aware of with the distribution deal? Um, red flags with distribution deals. Um, you know, it depends on what kind of distribution deal we're talking about, I guess. Um, you know, the commission rate is something you should always be very conscious of. Um, you know, if it's a small, I've dealt with small foreign sales agencies that wanted to charge 40% of, of revenue, which is astronomical, you know, um, you know, it should be more in the range of 20 to 25%. And so, yeah, definitely making sure that's kind of aligned with industry standards is very important. Um, you know, the credibility of the company itself is very big. With my first film, I didn't know any better and we took basically one of the first deals that came along and they ended up being almost like almost like near scam artists you know like they were a legitimate company and they were distributing films and they got our store our, our film on the store shelves but I mean it was a disaster behind the scenes like from accounting to marketing and it was just it was awful and I, I don't even think we got our, any money from that deal ever and it was a struggle just to kind of get out of that contract and so definitely doing your research on who these companies are is very very important um, when someone offers you a deal um, calling other filmmakers that have signed with them previously um, is a no-brainer. You got to do that. Have conversations with them about, you know, uh, the pros and cons of, of their dealings with that company. Um, that kind of thing. You just do your research. Yeah.